Chapter 1-1 You are listening at FameTV.info Winter has begun, and the weather in Shenzhen City is still warm, subtropical monsoon climate, and there is no obvious winter. Plus 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 mobile reading visit m.novelhall.com menu came out of the airport, the sun was shining on her body, and soon a layer of sweat came out. This is a completely different weather from the northern Yinchen. She took off her coat. Dropped off and stopped a taxi. As a well.known technology city, Shenzhen City has a unique sense of modernity in urban planning. This place is not only rich in cutting.edge technology chips, but also a gathering place for technology leaders, especially in the high.tech zone. You can often see economic magazines or technology forums. Familiar faces that have appeared above, Jenny Garden is a high.end apartment residence located in the south of the high.tech zone. This is the first high. End residential area developed in Shenzhen City. It is surrounded by three famous science and technology parks on three sides. Those who choose to live here are big coffees working in these science parks, although the development is the earliest here, the facilities inside are not backward. Face recognition and fingerprint unlocking intelligent anti dot theft systems have long been used. Mengyu went up to the 28th floor and used his fingerprint to unlock it. The apartment was decorated in a simple dark, color, tone, clean and tidy, with few furniture, and the huge space showed a sense of loneliness, there was no one in the living room, only two sweeping robots were working. Mengyu faintly heard a sound coming from the kitchen. She walked over and saw Xiao Qi cooking in the kitchen, the man is no longer a business model in a suit and leather shoes. He changed into a black, color, sweater and a piece of casual overalls. He has a straight posture and a straight back, which is almost tied to the ground like a pine, sometimes Mengyu feels that Xiao Qi is a particularly cold person who is beyond the world, and sometimes she feels that this person is particularly warm and smoky, just like now, he who is cooking seems to have a layer of warm soft light on his body, making her want to rely on, so. She walked forward and hugged him from behind that he, Shen, stiffened, but he realized that it was her. He didn't look back and continued his work. Why don't you say anything in advance when you come over, I have prepared a lot of dinner. There is no, Guan Guan, department, now it is too late to prepare. He turned off the fire and looked at her. If you want to eat early, let me go first. Mengyu let go and waited outside. Xiao Qi, as a great in the AI world, is self. Disciplined and self.denying, but he is extremely capable, strong Chang, and likes to do everything by himself. As long as he has time, he will always clean up, dry gone, dry gone, at home. Never treat his stomach harshly, after a while, the dinner is ready, it is two fried rice, Xiao Qi's cooking skills are still quite good, the fried rice is very fragrant after eating, Xiao Qi is used to reading a book for a while, Mengyu watched TV for a while and felt bored. She lay on the back of the sofa and looked at the man that he was sitting on an armchair with his legs crossed, and a floor dot standing lamp stood beside him. The light shone on his face, and that cold face seemed to soften that I don't know what serious thing he saw, his lips were pursed lightly, and the jawline was tightened, but his cold appearance fascinated her most, she walked over and squatted beside him, put her arms around his waist and leaned her face on his thigh. Xiao Qi looked down at her and asked, what's wrong? We haven't seen each other for a long time, don't you say you miss me? She deliberately pouted her mouth and looked at him with a grievance. The cold man frowned slightly, and her tight face became more serious, like the stern and terrifying instructor during military training, always looking at him like this. She always feels nervous unconsciously. You know I don't like to say that. Mengyu stuck out his tongue and buried his face on his leg again. Of course she knows that he doesn't like to say these, flesh, things, he doesn't like being close to people, and she doesn't like her to stick to him, sometimes she feels Xiao Qi is so serious and rigid as an undesirable old, dry gone, unit, Xiao Qi raised his wrist and looked at his watch, it's late, go take a rest. She didn't move. Not sleepy. She raised her head, 
looking at him with a pair of blurred eyes, her voice coquettishly at him, I don't want to be alone, shue shue. His eyes stayed on her face for a few seconds and then turned to the side, then what do you want? I want to, sleep shue, with you, dot. She grabbed his wrist and shook it, we have been together for so long, we can get one step closer. He bowed his head and turned the book, his attention returned to the book, I said it before, and I will talk about this kind of thing when we get married. Then when shall we get married? I work more stable. This is the answer every time, she must be married after she is married, and her work must be stable before getting married, but she doesn't know how stable his work is. He is now the technical manager and vice president of the leading company. Up. As a leader in the domestic AI industry, Panda Linghang, as the vice president of Panda Linghang, is worth over 10 billion yuan earlier. She doesn't know how stable his stability will be, she always felt that he just used this rhetoric to perfuse her, Meng Yu was a little angry, and went back to the room deliberately, but after sitting on the bed chuan, for a while, he didn't see him come in. She lay down on the bed chuan, feeling angry and frustrated. He was not the kind of man who would coax people. It was hopeless to expect him to coax her. In the end, it turned out that she was unhappy for herself when Meng Yu woke up the next day, she saw neatly stacked clothes and pants beside the bed, not the set she wore yesterday. She and Xiao Qi are in Yencheng and Shenzhen. Occasionally she will come to live for a few days. She also has a change of clothes here, and the set she wore yesterday has also been washed, dry gone. The neatly stacked neatly in the closet. He should wash her after she was, sleeping shue, yesterday, and even her underwear was washed, she looked at the laundered pile of clothes and couldn't help but smile, and the air that had accumulated last night was gone. She has loved Xiao Qi for so many years, but he will always look cold and cold, her tenderness and ambiguity can never get his response, she loves very hard. But he also has his goodness, his excellence, his temperament, his considerateness, his sense of home, when she feels tired, his strengths will always jump out so that she can't ignore it and let her continue to love. The sudden ringing of the doorbell brought back Meng Yu's thoughts. Meng Yu wondered who was knocking on the door so early. She got dressed and went out. Xiao Qi hadn't gotten up yet. She went and opened the door. There was a woman standing outside the door with a child in her hand, the woman was stunned when she saw that she opened the door, and then she smiled and said, Are you Meng Yu? I heard Qi Qi mentioned you. Meng Yu. Dot. Does Qi Qi mean Xiao Qi in her mouth? It happened that Xiao Qi also came out of the room at this time. As soon as the little girl saw him, she broke away from the woman's hand and ran towards him. She ran up to him and hugged his leg and screamed excitedly. Father. Dad. Meng Yu was stunned. When did Xiao Qi have such a big daughter? The woman was a little embarrassed. She walked in and pulled the little girl away, and said, Didn't I tell you not to bark? After saying that, she apologized to Meng Yu again. I'm really sorry, the kid doesn't sensible. Meng Yu was still a little confused at this time, who was this one of the younger and the younger and what was his relationship with Xiao Qi, Guan Guan, she looked at Xiao Qi and asked with her eyes, Xiao Qi rushed to her. This is Sister Ai Qing. She is a neighbor of my hometown. This is Huan Huan. She is Sister Ai Qing's daughter. Ai Qing. Meng Yu felt that the name was familiar. She suddenly remembered that she had seen a photo in Xiao Qi's wallet with the words A I Qingzheng written on the back of the photo. She hadn't been with Xiao Qi at that time. One time when they went to dinner together, his wallet accidentally fell to the ground, and the photo in the wallet also fell out. She happened to see it. At that time, she casually asked who the person in the photo was, but Xiao Qi was silent and she did not ask any more. Later, after they were together, she never saw the photo again, and the photo in his wallet was also affected by her. Forced to be replaced by her, because it took too long, she could not remember if the person in the photo was the A.I. Qing in front of her, 
but since it was the photo that A.I. Ching gave him, she could never give him another photo. The girl in the photo was A.I. Ching herself, the picture that Xiao Qi can carry with him in his wallet, the person in the picture and his, Guan, relationship are definitely not ordinary. I bought breakfast, let's have breakfast first. After A.I. Ching said, seeing Meng Yu still wandering, he came to pull her, Meng Yu, come and have breakfast together. Meng Yu sat down at the dining table, her mind was still a little confused. This woman named A.I. Ching suddenly appeared, giving her an unspeakable sense of crisis. This is something she has never had before. She believes in herself, this feeling. The inexplicable coming made her irritable, she was eating absent. Mindedly. A.I. Ching and Xiao Qi chatted without a word. They seemed to talk until they were young. A.I. Ching put the crab buns she bought in front of Xiao Qi and said, you like the most. She thought. What, laugh, I still remember the first time you ate crab buns when you were a child, and you ate them raw when you were too hot to speak. Then I laughed at you why you were so stupid, let yourself suffer, at that time you told me stupidly, because it was so delicious and reluctant to vomit. She heard Xiao Qi smile slightly while sitting beside her. She turned her head suddenly as if she had discovered something extraordinary, and she saw Xiao Qi smiling, she rarely saw Xiao Qi smile. Sometimes she teased him deliberately. Although he would laugh, he smiled perfunctorily. But now he has a shy smile, like a young and shy big boy, she had never seen Xiao Qi look like this. He was always, strong Chang, in front of her, cold, even though he was only two years older than her, his too rigid attitude sometimes died like an elder. Death suppressed her, therefore, seeing Xiao Qi smiling like a shy little boy was very surprised. After breakfast, Ai Qing left with Huan Huan, but Huan Huan obviously didn't want to leave. She looked curious and asked Ai Qing, Why are we leaving? That aunt didn't leave. Ai Qing smiled awkwardly and said, Aunt Meng Yu is Uncle Xiao Qi's girlfriend. She lives here and doesn't have to go. The little girl was dissatisfied. Then let's live here, too, okay. A.I. Qin glanced at Xiao Qi and then at Meng Yu with an embarrassed look. She coaxed, Huan Huan, can you buy a princess dress for you? The little girl lowered her head, no longer willful, sexual shame, but pouted and looked upset that A.I. Qin rushed to Meng Yu and said. The child is unreasonable, sexually shame, don't care about her. Meng Yu hasn't spoken yet, Xiao Qi said. It's not, Guan Guan, I'm going out with you, just as I am going to work, I can send you off. Xiao Qi put on his coat and said to Meng Yu before going out. You are waiting for me at home. If you are bored, you can go out and stroll around. I left a card for you in the room. If the money is not enough, then call me. After he finished speaking, he was about to go out with the mother and daughter, but Meng Yu stopped him. What's the matter? he asked. I have something to tell you. Xiao Qi glanced at A.I. Ching, and A.I. Ching said hurriedly, I'll go downstairs and wait for you. She left with the child, Xiao Qi asked after the door closed, what are you going to tell me? Meng Yu's heart was blocked. She didn't want to fight with Xiao Qi, but she probably cared too much, so she couldn't control herself at all, she asked him, do you like your A.I. Ching sister, right? Xiao Qi frowned, what are you fooling around? Meng Yu sneered, I'm fooling. Your sister Ai Qing is the girl who used to be in the picture in your wallet, right? You don't like her. You keep the pictures of people so good. Yes, I liked her. Does this answer satisfy you? Meng Yu stared at him blankly. He admitted that he was so, dry gone, not in a tone of anger with her, it was as simple as admitting that today's fried egg was made by me. I still have to go to work, I don't have the time to make trouble with you here. He turned around and left before opening the door. He stopped before opening the door. He turned around and said to her. When I was a child, the poor sister A.I. Ching's family helped me a lot. She is in trouble now, and it is when I need my help. 
I hope you will stop questioning me about her in the future, it is unnecessary. Meng Yu stood blankly for a long time before he seemed to find consciousness, and slowly moved to the sofa to sit down, why quarrel with him? Every time I quarrel with him is uncomfortable, but... How could he indulge other people's daughters to call him father, how could he smile like a young boy just because of what that woman said? She only asked him one sentence and he looked upset as if he had violated the woman named A.I. Chin. She is his girlfriend, isn't she? What did he consider her, and did he consider her? Meng Yu felt exhausted like never before, and she forgot the empty house, her heart seemed empty although she didn't want to admit it, she always knew that Xiao Qi didn't love her, the answer was especially clear after seeing the woman named A.I. Qin, Xiao Qi doesn't love her, even if he is very generous to her, he can spend whatever she wants with his money. Even if he is considerate to her, he will give her a gift on her birthday, wash her clothes, and cook for her. But she knew he didn't love her. He didn't respond to her love, and would never take the initiative to call her as long as there was nothing wrong. He didn't care how late she went out to play with friends, and he never even asked who she was spending the night with, however, she didn't seem to have a stand to blame him. From the beginning, he told her that he didn't want to fall in love and didn't plan to get married. She had been clinging to him all the time. She said that he had no relationship with him. It doesn't matter if he doesn't like her for the time being, you can look everywhere first, she put herself in such a humble position from the beginning, how could she blame him for not getting his response that I can only say that she is too cheap, but not too tired, his indifference time after time, his unloving, and her wounds healed herself again and again, really tired, she got up and packed her things, and she sent a text message to Xiao Qi. I am leaving. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.